Thank you. Thank you for having me. And certainly, let me extend my congratulations to the AWA Foundation and the work that you are doing. And um, I, too, was very impressed by the videos. If you think the city of Houston is moving in the right direction, please uh, give the credit to many of the women that are in leadership with the city of Houston. Uh, they are doing a phenomenal job, uh, not just because they're women, but because they're capable, competent, and highly, highly qualified. And we have a number of capable, qualified uh, women uh, in the city of Houston. I do want to take my time, though, in highlighting uh, the honorary, honorary a person who's receiving this initial honor uh, that I'm here to introduce. Um, I didn't become mayor, you know, just on my own. Uh, I had a number of people who were uh, assisting, and one of those individuals was Deborah Baker. Quite frankly, were not for her strong support, I would not be holding uh, the seat that I hold. And uh, once I was elected, I asked Deborah if she would serve on my executive transition team. She agreed and has done a phenomenal job. Uh, she is the managing partner of a nationally certified women and minority law firm and has practiced for 33 years, handling some of the most uh, complex uh, cases throughout our country. Um, she has a passion for diversity. Uh, we both share that, but not only diversity, but for inclusion. And oftentimes we talk about diversity uh, but if we don't have that diversity reflected around the table of decision making, we still miss. And during her career, she promotes gender fairness and quality for women and minorities. And through her 25 years of community service, um, including writing and producing the All Lawyer Night Court show, which is highly enjoyable, she has been instrumental in raising over $1 million for law-related charities for women and children. Deborah and I was talking one time about uh, jobs. I was telling her that my daughter was looking at applying for this job. And she called me up and she said, Dad, I meet most of the qualifications, but not all of them. And so she said, I'm not, I'm not going to apply. I said, did you like it, the job? She said, yes. But she said, I meet most of the qualifications, but when, you look at, when I looked at everything, there were certain things that I didn't meet up, match, and so I just decided not to do it. And I told her, I said, well, Ash, let me just say this to you. Uh, for women and minorities, oftentimes we go, we look for certain things, and if we don't line up on everything, we disqualify ourselves. If a white male, for example, saw that a position was open as a pilot, and let's say for an airline, uh, the white male looks at it, says, I've never flown a plane before, uh, <laughs> but I think I can do this. And so he goes and applies, and he tells the employer, I've never flown a plane before, but I'm very capable of being a quick study. I can learn, give me that job, and I, and, and I will fly this plane. Deborah is the sort of person and has the sort of spirit where she may not have flown the plane, but she has the life experiences, the intellect, and the capability of being a quick study. And we'll step in and go take that interview and we'll fly that plane. And quite frankly, the people that you're honoring today are all capable of flying that plane. Ladies and gentlemen, I just have the distinct honor of introducing and acknowledging Deborah Baker, an outstanding lawyer. Whether you're male or female, she is outstanding on every single level, and I'm glad to be your friend.